Hi, I'm just putting a call out. Um, a Scottish priest came to the shrine, Our Lady of Carnes Shrine here today. He saw my channel. Um, this is a, I'll just show you. People haven't seen it. This is the, the shrine out here where Our Lady appeared to four girls in the 1980s. Uh, a Scottish priest came here today with uh, some people and I'm just looking to make contact with you if uh, so that we can uh, keep you in our prayers. And if anybody's looking to come here, I'm here on Tuesday evenings from eight to nine most weeks. I have a WhatsApp group set up. So if I'm not here, I let people know. But this is the place where Our Lady told me in Medjugorje when I came back to Ireland to use this chapel for prayer. And it's a beautiful, large chapel as you can see very handy completely new with a kitchen and bathrooms and lots of parking and uh, a beautiful chapel here that will be used for confessions our lady wants to bring healing to this part of ireland you know where there's so many suicides this is a very sad thing. There are so many people in depressions and Our Lady wants healing to come here. She wants a priest sometimes to come here to hear confessions so that there can be healing. Very much like what's, what's in Medjugorje. The, the incredible beauty and grace of Medjugorje. And I honestly feel like Jim Brown saying, we do the possible. It's... It's not possible for me to heal anybody. <laughs> I know that. But it's possible for me to organize a prayer group. That's possible. And so it's possible for me to ask permission of a bishop to allow priests to come here to hear confessions, offer Holy Mass, and to allow Christ to give his graces. That's possible. And then God comes and he does the impossible. He does the healing. This God on a cross. He comes and gives the healing. You know, this place is a place of faith and hope. Faith and hope. And I want to give this message to anyone. Anyway, if the, if the Scottish priest who's came all the way from Scotland could contact me uh, because he saw my video and he's come here to, to Our Lady of Carn Shrine, just let me know because I want to include you in our prayers, uh, especially those that came with you today. There's not normally people here at the shrine during the day. It's just that we're... Uh, resurfacing the tarmacadam around here so the, the 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 guys that have built this chapel uh they're they're working here and then they mentioned to me that a priest came but i live locally but i'm not, i'm only here on tuesdays from eight to nine uh, so you can i'm usually here at 7 30 on a tuesday until after nine we do the possible we are here to pray with people that's possible. And then you see the impossible happen. The first man that came to this prayer group last year, he came from Wicklow, four hours, came here. He sat down here on one of these chairs. And I got a vision of this man with Father Leon. Uh, and I said, I didn't know what to say, actually. <laughs> but I said, I can't do much because you're so far away, four hours away. So I sent him to another prayer group in the Midlands. I said, look, you're, there's another prayer group of men more of your age. And those men invited that man to go to Medjugorje. So within the space of a month of him arriving here to this prayer group, the men had him in Medjugorje. And what happened to Medjugorje? Father Leon sees him, goes over. They have confession. That's what the power of the possible. We do the possible. God does the impossible. And it's important that we, we acknowledge him and allow him to do the work in our lives. Anyway, so I just wanted to put this message out here. Uh, you know, remembering Jim Brown, because those were the last words he said to me. <laughs> sitting right in front of him in his chapel, the other side of Mayo. And he said, we do the possible and we let God do the impossible because we're not capable of doing the impossible. And God knows that. But he says, you do the possible. You know, if you think about this Sunday's reading, gospel reading, pull it out.
pull it out. It's it's con continuation from St. John's Gospel on the Vine. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I'm going to bring it in here. Um, what does it say? Let's bring it in here. What did Christ say? This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life, one's friends. We're not, we're not called to die. We're called to help. You can pray with somebody. That's laying down your life to help somebody. Giving an hour. If every baptised Catholic in Ireland gave one hour once a week to pray with somebody, to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, I like my life, my comfort, my television. Throw your TV remote controller in the bin and go out and help somebody. <laughs> go out and help somebody. That's possible. Get out of comfort zones. You are my friends. If you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servants does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You, do, you did not choose me. I choose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. That's this Sunday's gospel. Read it. Meditate on it. You know, if there's one thing about Jim Brown, get out of your comfort zones. Get out. Catholics, wake up here. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. The spirit seems to be on me this evening for some reason. But it was just, I suppose we're all a little bit sad that Jim is gone so quickly, so unexpectedly. <laughs> I was hoping we could do a few more retreats, men's retreats in his chapel because, you know, so many people are, are got healing from them. But, um, you know, it's time for Ireland, Irish laity to wake up. We do the possible. It's possible for us to pray with other people. It's possible for us to open the gospel. It's possible for us to do the School of Mary Exio Divina, to open up the word for people. You know, that's possible. Let God then do the impossible. Anyway, uh, God bless you. Uh, good evening from Our Lady of Karn Shrine. If you haven't seen it, I'll just show you the... I'll just show you out here. I'm here in my own. <laughs> It's a shrine in there. And, uh, and this is the chapel. And hopefully soon, someday at the back here will be a dining mini conference area so that people can come here and you know, be able to, to, to talk to other people because it's what Jim Brown was doing in his chapel. And uh, it's providential. This is what Our Lady wanted. She wants people to get healing. You know, we do the possible. It's possible for you to go to Medjugorje. It's possible for you to go to confession. It's possible for you to read sacred scripture. It's possible for you to pray and watch God do the impossible in your life. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.